Another way that you can use the interactive hundreds chart is when you are playing a game of bingo with your children. Children love to play bingo. So normally for infants, I would have 25 pre-made bingo cards, one for each child, containing a random selection of the numbers 1 to 10. And then I would use the interactive hundreds chart to, to keep track of the numbers that I would have called out. So for example, if I call out number four, number seven, number two. And so the first child then to get a three in a row or a double line or a treble line is the winner. And I can keep track of the numbers on the interactive hundreds chart. So I would disconnect my laptop from my overhead projector while I'm calling out the numbers. When somebody says check teacher, well what I do then is I reconnect to the interactive whiteboard projector and the children can see yes if they had the numbers correct or if they didn't. So if Mary says teacher check, I'd say Mary what three numbers have you on your first line or on a line and she'd say teacher I have two, five and nine. So then she is correct. And on the, on the wall, I would have a chart with all 25 names on the chart. I would put up a small prize, it could be a packet of markers or twistables. And then the first child to get three ticks beside his or her name wins the prize. And you get a tick every time that you win a line or if you get a double line or if you get the full house. So children really love to play bingo and you can play bingo 1 to 10 with the infants or if you have say first or second class you could have a larger bingo board and you could have numbers say 1 to 40. In this case you're calling out numbers 36, 23 or you could have addition so you'd say to the children the next number is 28 plus 2. The next number is 32 plus 3. So what you're doing is you're focusing on plus 2 there or it could be plus 10 there. The next number is 3 plus 10. The next number is 6 plus 10. Or you could focus on 2 tens, 8 units. Our next number is 3 tens, 2 units. So again, you're tracking the numbers on the interactive hundreds chart. And when somebody checks on a line, or a double line, or a treble line, or the full house, then you can plug back into the overhead projector and the children can see, yes, they can correct to see if they missed the number or whoever has the double line can check off the numbers or they call them out to you and you can double check them here and then give them their tick or continue on them for three lines or a full house. So we're actually using our interactive hunters chart to manage a game of bingo with the whole class. And again, you can play bingo all the way from infants up to six class because this could be a six class board. And in that case, what you're doing is you're calling out what seven fives, what six sixes, or what six sixes plus three. So if you're going to click 49, you say to the children, it's six sixes plus three. So they're going six, six, 36 and three is 39. You say it's four sixes plus two. So they go four sixes of 24 and two is 26. So you see the way you can use bingo to have children engage with various concepts in mathematics. For example, one side of a rectangle is eight and the other is seven. What's the area? That's your number. What's your hit? 64. I have one euro and I spend eight cent. How much have I left? 92. Or you could say to them, on your bingo boards, if you want to eliminate a lot of numbers, so let's say you're starting a game of bingo with fourth class and they have a random selection of numbers between one and a hundred and you want to eliminate a whole ream of numbers, you could say to them, you can mark off all the even numbers. So again, while they're doing a while they're marking them on their bingo board on the interactive hunters chart, you're marking off all the even numbers. And again, don't forget you can simply click and drag to color in all the even numbers. Straight away, you have eliminated 50 numbers. But back on their bingo board, they are also marking off all the even numbers. So the interactive hunters chart can be used to do bingo and track the numbers with the children all the way from infants to sixth class. And the level of number work that you're playing within your bingo board, you determine that. One final one, you could simply be calling out the numbers of Scalige. Iver a tree, Iver a cuide, Feha. So there is 
pumpkin ways in which you can use it. And if you make yourself a collection of bingo boards from 1 to 10, or you could go 11 to 25, you could go 1 to 40, or you could have a random selection all the way up to 100. Children love playing bingo, and within the bingo format, you have all the children engaging all of the questions all of the time. What more can you ask for?